Star actress Joke Silva has landed the lead role in Bolan Leo St. Peter's production, forthcoming production, based on the life of activist Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. Silva was will star in the lead role as Kuti alongside Kendi Bankoli, Omaumi Dada, Ibrahim Suleiman, Patrick Diabwa, and Sean Fakwa. Confirming the project's cast, filmmaker Bolan Leo St. Peter's will set to direct the biopic with um, working title Fumilayo, The Lioness of Lisabi, shared a video for Featuring members of the Kuti family and Silva on what appears to be a film set, how can it get how can it get more authentic than having the true blood of Fumilayo and some Kuti in the room? Fumilayo had four children: Dolupe, Olikoi, Olufelai, Kefela, and Bekulari. They were all represented by their children and nurse for Dolupo. Mm. I think this is great, and I like the way Joke Silva is in the news. Yeah. You can tell how she's tripling a hustle now mm -hmm. that her husband needs every every support yeah like and she, i don't think they are the type to start asking yeah. nigerians for medical of course yeah so I, I love the way she's still so hard working yeah. you know putting in the work she's almost in every movie right now mm -hmm. and i, I yeah. just want to say that woman is very graceful because mm -hmm. she still looks very beautiful yeah, she, she still talks very poised she yeah. still she get what i mean like yeah. everything about her is still mm -hmm. very very on point yeah. and i really love her I really do love Jacques Siva. Yeah, I love her. Just speaking of what you said, I like that she's ten tenacious. Like, she's not laid back or she's not trying to, you know, wallow in sadness that her husband is sick. Because I get that when you're with someone that for, like, so many years, mm -hmm. you've loved this person, you've grown with this person, and then seeing the person, you know... <laughs> sick like literally losing his memory because it's, it's dementia and mm. dementia actually causes all those stuff so like i can imagine how she feels but the fact that she's you know triumphant and still coming out working doing her movies playing her roles and coming out elegantly like i really do love that for her and personally we have actually seen joker silver before and what she said about her being graceful is so true she's so eloquent like the way she even speaks the way she carries herself the way she does everything is just so eloquent like you even think this is even like you know an actress she's very yeah. humble too and mm -hmm. and everything i like that they chose her for this role and i think she would do it perfectly i don't think there's any role that no, i've seen her execute. do that she has not executed perfectly like perfectly her and irriti doyle yeah i don't think i've seen any any role that they've not just killed it like so I don't think she will do less than this. She will not do less than this. She will obviously bring it. You don't to think Tonto DK too can interpret every role? Okay, we've had a you know, you know, you know that. Yeah. And this thing that you just start hearing cricket. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting for the cricket, but there was nothing. <laughs> no, I don't know about that, Shabo. I love Tonto DK. I love her, but I don't know about her interpreting every role. I don't, I don't know. I uh, think she'll make a good one. Oh, uh, I, I, so, I, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's move on to the next story. Akon has revealed that he was heartbroken when he heard about Peace Quest separation. He portrayed them as family and furthermore uncovered that the division might be because of a tone of tension in their profession and relation, obviously, stating the obvious. He said it broke my heart because we are family. These are brothers and they shared the same womb and I always felt money should not getting between them it was being together that made them who they were but sometimes you have differences between people from the same family and there are other aspects of it there is pressure in the music business there's a lot of pressure in relationship i totally agree hmm. but i think this is something that we've known so that's why i said yeah. it's stating the obvious but one thing that stood out for me yeah. was the part where he said that he doesn't think money should come in between because that's something i've been talking about like i yeah. still don't understand it why how yeah. i would look exactly like somebody yeah and then money will be money the reason be the for me to fall out with somebody that looks just like of me of course yeah. i've always wanted to i've always wanted to be a twin my whole life mm. i get like yeah. it, it fascinates me when i see twin yeah. yeah and in my head i'm like why should money be the reason i don't know the woman or the person that wants to come between me and my twin brother if yeah. i had one do you get what i mean mm. like it's really funny that's why i feel like i beg a strategy because everybody keeps saying ah twins they fight i've never seen one 
Hmm. Have you ever seen one? I have. That fight? Yes. That they don't talk to each other? Yes. Oh, really? I have actually. I have. But I mean, they make up and all of that. But they fight a lot. Like, like fight. Like, legit abusing each other. And they won't talk for, like, weeks. And then they'll get back together. I've never seen that. I mean, seeing this... When they say money is the root of all evil, like, this is, like, the legit definition. Like... I don't think there's any other thing that would make them not talk for that long. If there's any other reason why they won't even talk for that long, I don't think it's justifiable. I think money is the only reason why I think, okay, it's justifiable why they won't talk. Because money is money. Mm. <laughs> I mean, like, so, like, I, when, I, when brothers are, like, doing business and they don't have issues, I even wonder that, okay, these are really good business partners. I don't like to involve family in business, to be sure. very honest. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't like it. Because I feel like business is quite it's quite technical and the way you inv involve someone that you already love or someone that you have affiliation with before business it just makes it more dicey if that person is not maybe not hard working you don't know how to address the person you don't want to hurt the person's feelings you don't want so if feelings and business mm -mm, business is already enough you know what do you think will come between us if a lot of things well, give me two a lot of things like where do we start from even this tea here now say if you pour it here it can come between us Eh? <laughs> and he touches it like some suit, I will blow you. How's your something? My jump jumpsuit now. Oh, okay. I will just. I told you you're getting then very we'll personal there. I was like, uh, why would your tea touch your something? Anyway. Oh! <laughs>